welcome to the deep dive. This is going to be fun, you guys, because we are diving into the world of podcasting today. Ooh, meta. Right. We're a podcast talking about podcasts. I love it. So we found this episode of Podtastic Audio with this guy, Chris, and... Oh, yeah, I've heard of that one. He had so much good stuff to say about making your podcast stand out, like whether you're just starting out or you've been doing this for a while. I was really struck by how, like, he just gets right to the point. Yeah. Like, no messing around. He's all about the audience. Totally. He's like that friend, you know, who tells it like it is. Yeah. No sugarcoating, just straight up advice. And he even said yeah. he was like, creating a podcast without knowing your audience is like shooting arrows in the dark. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> but so true. Like, you're putting in all this work, but you're not even sure who you're aiming for. Right. You wouldn't, like, cook a fancy meal without knowing if your friends even eat vegetables. Exactly. <laughs> but, okay, he does not just leave us hanging with that. He actually gives us these... He's, he's got to tools, yes. Yeah, he's developed these two AI tools. Okay, I'm intrigued, AI tools. I know, and I know what you're thinking, but... Everyone's talking to AI these days. Exactly. But before you think it's just hype... Hear us out, because this is different. It is. It is, because he's not trying to replace, like, your creativity. Right. He wants you to use them strategically yeah. to, like, enhance, not replace, is how he put it. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, and in the episode, he actually, like, demos them live. It's so cool. It's like we get to peek behind the scenes. Yes. And so, for the first one, Show Planner, he pretends he's making a show for... Let me guess. Busy Moms. Busy Moms, of course. Because who has less time than a busy mom? Right. And what I thought was really cool is the tool, like, asks him all these questions to get him started. It's like like having a brainstorming buddy. Yes. Like a super organized brainstorming buddy who's also, like, really good at asking the right questions. Yeah. So what kind of questions are we talking about here? Well, first, it wants to know the desired outcome. So are you aiming for, like, tips, inspiration, pure entertainment? Okay. So, like, what's the goal? What are you trying to achieve? Exactly. And if it's entertainment, then it gets even more specific. It's like, what kind? Quizzes, funny stories. So smart. Getting granular right off the bat. Right. It's all about figuring out what will actually resonate with those busy moms. And then, get this, <laughs> he's like, okay, let's say we're doing a mom truths or myths game. Oh, fun. And the tool spits out a whole outline like potential segment breakdowns wow so it's not just like general ideas it actually it gets into the nitty-gritty that's so cool yeah, it's like having a little assistant you know totally. it's like feeding you ideas but you're still in control right absolutely it's not writing the whole show for you right it's more, more like when... it's giving you that starting point yeah like a springboard exactly and the best part is this show planner thing yeah it's not just for solo shows oh really he's like this works for co-hosted shows interviews you name it so it's like adaptable yeah very cool okay well speaking of interviews he has this other tool right oh yeah this is the interview storyteller and it's four like because yeah. nobody wants to hear an interview where it's just one word answers oh my gosh the worst so boring right so this tool is all about getting those stories give me the good stuff so he uses the example of like interviewing a small business owner. Oh, I love those. And the tool suggests this question. What was the moment you realized your business was going to succeed? Ooh, good question. You know they're going to have a story about that. <laughs> right. Like, that's going to be ju juicy. Totally. Like, you're getting to the good stuff. And it's relatable, too. It is, because everyone loves hearing about those aha moments. Exactly. It's not just, oh, yeah, we make widgets. It's the why behind it. Yes. Okay, but then he takes it up a notch. He does. He's like, let's try a celebrity. Ooh, whoa. Brad Pitt. No way. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. And the tool comes up with these questions. Okay, I'm very curious now. Like, what kind of question are you going to ask Brad Pitt? Right. So one of them was like, looking back at your career, was there a specific role that felt like a turning point? That's a good question, actually. Right. It's not just like, you know, what was it like working with so-and-so? It's deeper. It was getting them to think about their journey. Yeah. And then another one was like, is there a moment, maybe behind the scenes, that shaped your view on fame? Ooh, that's good. It's again, like, not the surface level stuff. Not the fluff. Yeah, exactly. You can tell this guy, Chris, he really cares about good interviews. He does. He's trying to elevate the whole game. Yeah, and it's not about, like, tricking people or... No, no, got your question. It's about getting to those 
real moments. Yeah, those authentic moments. Where you feel like you're really connecting with the person. Yes. And that's what makes a good interview. Totally. It's like you're right there with them. And you know what else is cool? This whole thing, these tools... Okay, so this is the part I was like, what? Giving them away for free. Wait, what for free? For free, like completely free. No way. Yeah, like he could be selling these, right? A hundred percent people would eat this up. Especially podcasters. We're always looking for an edge. Exactly. But he's like, nope, here you go. Go make something awesome. That's wild. Like, it's so refreshing, you know? Totally. In a world where everyone's trying to, like, monetize everything. I know. It's like he's bucking the trend. Totally. So, yeah, if you're feeling inspired, I would definitely recommend checking out his website. Yeah, for sure. Grab those tools. But even more than that, like, really listen to what he says about finding your people and crafting those stories. Because... That's the good stuff. Yeah, I mean, we hear it all the time from listeners. They're like, I want to start a podcast, but I don't know what to talk about. Right, that's the big question, isn't it? And I think what this episode really highlights is that the answer's already there. It's inside you. Yeah. Yeah, it's those stories you tell your friends, the things you're passionate about, the stuff that keeps you up at night. Exactly, like those are the seeds of a great podcast. Totally, and it made me realize that sometimes we overthink it. Oh yeah, we get caught up in the details. Right, like it doesn't have to be this big, polished thing right off the bat. It's about connecting. You know? Yeah, it's about sharing your voice, your perspective. And you never know who's going to resonate with it. Exactly. And that's the magic of podcasting, I think. It really is. So if you're listening to this and you've been thinking about starting a podcast, I would say just go for it. What are you waiting for? Seriously. And have fun because I think that's the most important thing. It shows too. It really does. All right. On that note, we're going to wrap up this deep dive into the world of podcasting. Until next time. Happy podcasting, everyone.